Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. Today we are visiting with Jordan Crane. She's Family and Consumer Sciences Agent in Barron County. Jordan, can you tell us a little bit about pickleball and the history behind this sport? It's not really new, but um, it's still new to some people. And so it has been the fastest growing sport in America since 2020. Um, so over the last three to four years, we've seen a lot of pickleball, a lot of pickleball leagues, and we've heard a lot about people playing pickleball. So it's a fun topic um, to talk about, and it's really just a friendly game um, that kind of combines the games of badminton, ping pong, and um, tennis. So it's like a combination of three games, and it's a lot of fun from what I hear. So if you get the opportunity to play, um, you're going to need a large paddle and a plastic ball. And so a lot of times, especially now, these um, kind of come in a kit. Um, they're easy to pick up at a lot of different places. You might see just like a pickleball kit and you're going to be seeing a large paddle and then a small plastic ball. So that, that's what you'll be looking for. Um, depending on where you play pickleball, they might even have the gear available for you to use there. So definitely check ahead of time if you don't have a set at home. Um, you may be able to borrow a set or rent a set out, that kind of thing. So if someone is in um, the market to purchase, we want to make sure that it's not just any kind of paddle kit, but that it is a pickleball specific paddle kit. Correct. Okay. That is correct. Um, it will be labeled pickleball kit and so you can search that online and like I said there's also um, been some stores that I've been in recently that had the kits so yeah and it says it right on the tag. Jordan what are some of the benefits to pickleball? So you know one of the biggest benefits um, is obviously physical activity but we see a lot of other benefits when playing pickleball so there's a lot of social interaction that we get um, when playing with others, it helps to reduce some stress, and then it just overall increases our mood, um, especially this time of year. You know, pickleball is a sport that can be played indoors or outdoors, and so even during the winter months, um, we're still able to get together with friends, um, and there are lots of leagues out there, and so just that interaction with other people, I think, um, is good to have. Now, Jordan, speaking of courts. Uh, are, do we typically see pickleball courts indoors or outdoors? Possibly both. Yeah, you're going to see it both. Um, you know, most everybody's playing indoors right now, but I do know, um, especially in my community, there are some outdoor, some outdoor courts and they are a smaller court. And so you'll be able to distinguish them. They're not as big as a tennis court. Okay. Um, they're smaller, kind of like a badminton court. Okay, so we want to make sure not to get confused between a tennis court um, and a pickleball court. Sometimes if the sun is shining, uh, it can really warm up uh, the day. So don't be afraid to get outside. Uh, Jordan, are there any safety concerns uh, that people should be aware of when playing uh, pickleball? Sure, Christy. So yes, obviously, you know, as with any sport, you want to be aware of your surroundings and kind of just, you know, glance around before you get started to be sure if there's anything in the way, you would want to move that out of the way because um, we do see, you know, there is a fall risk um, just, just with things going around, especially when you have a ball flying around, you want to be mindful of where the ball has landed. Um, and it's also, you know, been said that it, it can be hard on some joints, especially if you have some underlying conditions there. Um, but generally speaking, it's pretty safe um, and, and it's enjoyable. And we do see all ages, um, all body types, all fitness levels, you know, anybody can play. So it's always just a good idea to be mindful of, um, of your surroundings. We're always trying to get people in their cooperative extension offices, um, picking up resources. We do have a resource on Pickleball Jordan. What is that called? The resource you can get from your local extension office is just called um, Get Healthy with Pickleball. So if you stop by, ask for that. It's a really um, interesting publication to read over. And there are some other, you know, um, other things that you can pick up as well about how to play and where to play. All righty. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we will see you soon.